previously on Talk That Talk. No, you're not bougie. You're educated. When did education when did educated become bougie? Like when? No, you're educated. You know what you're talking about. You are um educated in the area of not just music but in life, but in teaching young students. Um I'm still I'm trying to figure out that bougie part though now. If, I don't know, maybe if we would talk about something else and you wanted to know if, if you bougie, I might say, yeah, but no, are we, are we talking about band and music and stuff? Yeah, we talking about band, music, music education, all that. Are we bougie? No, no, not at all, no. But I, I think that's a slippery slope, man. We We really have got to stop, you know, edu- uh, associating uh, something negative with something positive just because we don't like it. All right, Quan. Are we bougie? <laughs> <laughs> um, from, the, from the context that you're giving, uh, yes, from the context you're giving, because if we're speaking about the difference between informed and uninformed, and if the uninformed feels like that you're quote unquote better or you're uppity, so to speak, we're going to use that term as well. If that's the case, then yes, because rational would never understand irrational. And I think sometimes it's it's a it's a double edged sword. So sometimes you have people that are very educated, sometimes talk over people who may not have the same degrees. And, you know, a degree doesn't mean that. Uh, you're better than an individual. It just means to to a point you have more tenacity and you stuck with it. Uh, so from the context that you explained it about, you know, being educated is bougie and whatnot. Um, I think it's a double edged sword. Uh, but I think sometimes you just have pride in what you know and what you know, if you can prove it, hey, I guess if that's bougie, then hey, you bougie. But it goes back to my opinion to post-traumatic slave syndrome from that. Because if you feel like you know something or you're well-informed, a person feel like, oh, you know better, you, you're better than me. No, I'm not, but I do know this expertise in this area. But Ricky is bougie. <laughs> I guess it's always rich folk. Yeah, definitely. All right, Gary, are we bougie? Hell yeah, y'all bougie. No, y'all not bougie. No, you speak from a place of knowing what you talk about. And uh, no, you speak from a place of knowing what you talk about. And to some, they may look at that and think it's bougie. No, it's not bougie. You just stand confident in what you talk about. You know, a lot of people can sit and jaw jack about band all day. So they think they know or they think they know this. But, you know, y'all go right to the juggler and be like, boop, 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 boop. Um, just because you all operate in different idioms outside of the HBCU world that you're in other things, people may look and say, oh, they bougie because, oh, Rick think he better than everybody because he do drum corps and da, 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 and da, 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 da. No, you just step down. You're doing something different. It's no different. People still don't know that you're still from the hood. You're from Portsmouth. So, no, you're not bougie. No, not bougie. Awesome. All right, Rick. Are we bougie? Ah, excuse me. So, um, <laughs> let me have a sip first. Excuse me. Yes. I guess we he's all parched. Know. he's parched. Everybody. Yes, I'm. I'm parched. Good sir. Pinky's up. Pinky's up. Right. Um, are we bougie? I guess it depends on who said we are. You know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. You know, I think, you know, I think it's really ironic, y'all, that we get criticized for having an opinion by people that think that their opinion matters to anybody else in the whole world. So when we come with a opinion about something that's contrary to the group think, the other side, who are you? Who who are you to say what you doing and this and that? You ain't man, that dude that we don't know it, man. We ain't worried about him. He played fourth trumpet. 
But these are the same people that will get online and tell somebody they band sucks. Their opinion, everything they say is, is gold. It, you know, let them say whatever they want, but you are not entitled to your opinion, which may be contrary what? to What? <laughs> so I, I think it's mighty ironic. Y'all, to give some context, we I've seen Julie and I both have seen all types of narratives and 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 feedback about a what we're doing here talk that talk and b um the opinions that we have like you would be surprised anything from we bougie i've heard that on numerous occasions sean when we first got to uh pv i was told by many people from the houston area that we were bougie and it was just simply because we we had different standards i don't i don't i don't understand why Everyone must do the same thing. And I don't understand why that permeates just American code. I don't think that's a black only thing. I think that's an American thing. You either believe in what I believe or you are against me. And I think that's why we see what we see on the news with people that can't believe that one plus one equals two, you know, or people that believe that somebody won an election, you know, just because they say it so. Like, that's the world we live in now. So, I think we are only being victims of the of the country that, and the world that we live in now. But I, I want these people that think we are bougie to know we're going to continue to be whatever you think we are. You won't change our minds about what we believe at all. I actually think it's funny that y'all get in those groups and talk all that trash and do all that inappropriate stuff, um, but aren't doing anything to make these bands better. How much money have you given to your alma mater that you say you love? I'm in the Alumni Association at Norfolk State, a dues ca- a card carrying member of the Alumni Association because I love my school. I've seen Sean participate in almost every, you know, homecoming. Well, not every, but has done homecoming, has done all these things because she loves her university. Hell, everybody knows that guy right there, Gary. Y'all already know, and I'm sure we're going to bring this up. Y'all know how I feel about him. I think he's the GOAT right now when it comes to HBCU visual. Where is he at? His alma mater. That's what I'm that's that's what loving your university is to me. So I think it's easy for people to throw stones for my far. And I'll be whatever you think I am. Because guess what? I love my life. God has blessed me. And I go to sleep, you know, with a good conscience at night because I know I'm trying to do what in my opinion is best for my people as us as African Americans and then young people um who want to do what we do. So Sorry. 